Hey guys, it's Jess. Um, this video, it's not going to be a review, it's not going to be an unboxing. I just, since I finally got a camera that I can sit in front of, um, this is going to be more telling you what I'm doing weight loss wise. As you can see, I've got a lot to go. I, I'll be the first person to admit that. Um, just, I'm just, this is just going to be giving you some of my background, I guess you can say, when it comes to how I started out. And, you know, just asking for some of y'all's feedback. If y'all feel like you have some advice for me, or some way to, like, help me out, or you, you, you know, you feel like, you know, you just want to put some input. Just, you know, go ahead, leave me something down in the comments. Let me know. Alright, so, let me see. If you hear a lot of noise in the back, sorry, um, I have a lot of pets, uh, and my kids are outside playing, so. Anyways, I started out in February of 2015, I was, I just had my, my baby boy as my third child, um, after I had him, after he was out and I was released from the hospital, I went back for an appointment and I was weighing 302. I was weighing a, a lot. Um, when I got the okay to start trying to work out, start trying to lose weight, it was late March. By that time, I was 288. And that's still a lot. I'm 288 pounds. I'm five foot four. Okay, guys, like, I'm supposed to be little. Simple as that. Um... I started late March, like I said, I got the okay. I started doing Insanity. I had been doing it before I got pregnant, actually. Um, I was working as a correctional officer, and when I would come home after, you know, a 12 hour shift or whatever, I would do my Insanity, eat dinner, take my bath, go to bed. That was before I got pregnant. I had actually been at 290 when I started back then, but anyways. Um, so I started doing Insanity. My diet was not on par at all. Like, I was still eating as bad as ever. And I'm talking about, like, I would stay up late and I would eat cookies and drink a glass of milk. And we're talking about, like, 11 at night, which is pretty bad. Um, I started doing weightlifting. I started doing Shalene Extreme. I bought myself. I went ahead and invested. I figured, you know what, the more I invest in it, the longer I'm gonna keep going with this. If I went ahead and got the Bowflex weights, um, I don't know if y'all, if anyone of y'all have seen them before. I got the the ones that turn the dials. Um, oh my gosh, they're not the 1090s. They're the, the 552s. I got those ones. Um, before I got those, I had a little weight set. It's just like a three, a five, and an eight pound. That was it. I couldn't do really anything um Shalene Extreme is the program that I'm doing or that I have been doing for weights um I've looked at P90X and I've looked at some of the other ones and I just I can't do it like it's not that I can't do it I don't like them like they don't keep me motivated they don't make me want to do it they make me feel really self-conscious even though if it's just me in the room it doesn't matter I just no I don't like them I've been sticking to Shalene Extreme and I mix that up with Insanity, uh, Pio, um, Asylum. Mind you, all of these are really, really hard exercises, but they don't tell you, you have to go at the same pace that we're going. No, they tell you, you go at your own pace. You know, you have to know your limit, you know? Um, you don't want to hurt yourself, obviously. Um, with Shalene Extreme, I saw results. Like, I'm now, from this whole year, I lost about 40 pounds total. I, I'm fluctuating right now between 259, sorry, uh, 249, 259, somewhere like between there. I've been fluctuating since November, October, somewhere around there. And I know part of it's because of the holiday season, 
like I've just fallen off the wagon. It happens. It happens to everybody. I, from what I hear, anyways. Um, I've been working out with a friend of mine over Skype. She's from Alaska, and Skype has this whole thing where you can like share the video to people. Um, so I'm able to play my Shaleen or my Insanity video or whatever workout you know I'm gonna do for that day. I'm able to share that with her through Skype, and she works out with me like that. Um, we've looked for other people too because I know you can do multiple calls on Skype. Um, nobody's been interested, so it's just me and her so far. Uh, usually after, she'll have like another little workout. <laughs> after we're all tired and everything, she has another little workout, usually core, or it'll be like a, what she calls a pyramid workout. So it's like you start off with a small number of jumping jacks, squats, or whatever series you're gonna do, and you know you kind of get larger. Uh, a larger amount of numbers or reps, sorry, um, to do, and then you kind of go back down again. So that's pretty much all that is. Um, Diet-wise, I was eating so much better. I actually did something really unhealthy. I've done it several times this year. I usually only do it when I feel like I really, really need to do it. Um, the military diet. Uh, if you don't know what it is, you can look it up here on YouTube or on Google. It's not healthy at all, but it is a really, really low calorie thing. Um, it helps me, honestly, to reset my mind. And it kind of brings like what you're eating down to like the basics, like minimal. So that kind of helps me reset myself from eating cookies and eating like just junk all the time like I, I don't want to say I don't do it to punish myself before anyone's like oh you do it because you're doing bad yes but no not to punish myself it's more just to like okay you've been eating like I'm sorry to say but you've been eating like crap you know you need to get back on the ball and it kind of just helps me just do that that's really the only reason I do it um, if you do do it I don't recommend it, but if you do decide to do the military diet yourself, which supposedly you know you can lose 10 pounds or whatever on it, um, just don't do it and then think, all right, well, I lost the 10 pounds or whatever, how many pounds I lose, well, you lose in those three days. Don't do it and then go and binge eat for like a week straight or for even a few days don't do it please I'm telling you right now you're just gonna gain all that weight that you lost back mind you some of it's probably gonna come back anyways when you start eating you know well again or whatever um, I I know this from experience I did it one time and then I thought it was real cool this was before you know I, I got myself on track more more or less and my neighbors invited me to go drink. All right, cool. I don't drink a little bit when I drink, you know, alcohol. So I had lost 16 pounds in those three days. Yeah, I, I you know, swear to you, no lie, 16 pounds. I think this was like the third time I had done it. I drank those beers, whatever, next morning. I weigh myself and I had gained 18 pounds. Yeah. That was overnight, guys. So just, if you are going to do it, don't be stupid. Don't go drinking. Don't go binge eating. Like I said, just, you know, try to keep eating clean. Eat your chicken. Eat your fish. You know, eat your veggies. Just eat right. Everybody thinks it's so hard. And it is hard, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. It is hard keeping your 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 diet in, in proper order. Uh, Keeping up with that, I guess you could say, lifestyle change, going from Cheetos and brownies and cakes and stuff like that all the time, you know, and being Hispanic and being the way I was raised, I was never raised to eat right, all right? I don't care what anybody says, I wasn't, all right? I was raised on barbecue every day and tortillas every day and rice and beans every day. I shit you not. <laughs> all right, so right now I'm... 
I'm doing the workouts. I'm actually going to do one right after this video. I'm thinking because YouTube now has like a live stream. If you guys want, I mean, it's kind of embarrassing for me. I'm just, I'm not somebody to work out in front of people. <laughs> um, who, who really is somebody to work out in front of people? I mean, unless you, you look really, really good doing it and not all of us do. I mean, but I want y'all to let me know, is that something y'all would want to see? If not, I mean, it's fine. It's no biggie. But just let me know. Give me some feedback. What do y'all want to see from me? I mean, obviously, you know, I do unboxings, I do reviews, but I'd like to get a little more personal and a little more in-depth with what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'd like to be able to, you know, be held accountable for my weight loss, for my eating, for everything, you know, that I'm trying to do right now. So, yeah, just go ahead and leave me some feedback. I would, it would, it would really help me out. Um, I'm thinking for this, this month or these couple of months, I have a hybrid calendar for Shaleen and Insanity. I hadn't done Insanity in a long time. So I'm thinking I'm going to follow that calendar for the next two months. So if y'all want to see those workouts or see me, well, you're going to see me do those workouts because I can't like stream those to you because, you know, copyright and that whole shebang. But, um, if y'all think it would be a good idea I mean I don't see the harm in live streaming for a little while to you guys so okay um, so now I'm, I'm just gonna stand up and let y'all see what I look like um, I will post a photo uh, in a bit uh, I've taken a lot of progress photos I haven't taken any recently. I, I, I'm afraid to, to be honest. Because like I said, I've been slacking. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and post that photo here in a bit. But right now I'm going to stand up and I'm just going to let y'all see. Um, oh God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm just going to let y'all see what I look like right now. So let me just move this back this way. And I know I'm pretty far away, but um, yeah, this shirt, mind you, this shirt used to be tight. Um, now I have, you know, I have all of this out here. Um, this is my shape. Uh, before I forget to tell y'all. I do waist train in a corset once in a while. Um, my main problem for me right now, my arms. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, they're pretty bad. Um, I really, I'm not uncomfortable with my body. Don't get me wrong. I just, my arms are probably the only thing that I'm like, wow, like, I can't believe I let it get that bad. Um, obviously I need work everywhere, but I mean, I really don't, you know, I don't really like get down on myself about everything else. It's just, I think the only thing I really like get uneasy about are my arms. So for me to, you know, <laughs> to show you, mind you, they were worse. Um, yeah, <sighs> but, um. That's it for this video, guys. So, um, just let me know what you all want to see. And you can also check me out on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, I'd really like to have a, like, a group of people that, you know, I can talk to about stuff like this. And I'm sure a lot of you would, too. So, if some of y'all are feeling the same way, you know, like you don't have much of a support system at home. Um, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here at home every day, mind you. Um, you can message me, you can hit me up. And message me wherever you can. 
and you know, um, we can help each other out. Why not, right? <laughs> Alright guys, love you, bye. <laughs>